Hi everyone, let's understand a paper PLSM's most wanted guidance. Number of number of uh, our research scholars, as well as those are uh, the faculty member. They said, uh, I should prepare a video on PLSM's most wanted guidance. So just uh, that is why I'm making this video. And this paper has been published in International Journal of Contemporary Hospitality Management. Acceptance date was 3rd August 2022. And these are authors uh, of this particular paper. And uh, Professor Ringel is also one of the author here. And uh, this one is, paper is actually is telling us about what are the most important requirements of PLS SEMS. So here is, uh, this one is the uh, the most important methodology is here, that is PLSM that has been discussed and lots of questions, queries has been answered in this paper. So findings is saying our data analysis identifies three salient PLSM topics. One is bootstrapping and significance testing, higher order constructs and moderation. So all those answers you can get it in this paper related to specifically these are focusing on bootstrapping, significance and significance testing, higher order constructs and moderation. And uh, then we come to the what is the why this paper is very, very important. What is the originality and what is the value contribution of this paper? Because Till now, there is no systematic analysis of this kind in the field of PLSM and therefore it presents the first result, result and that is why these are the recommendations, those provide guidance for PLSM applications, hospitality research and practice. And uh, now you can see this paper is divided into number one, first part is introduction and here is in my description box, I am going to giving you this particular paper in my description box. So I'm sure you could be able to download this paper. And uh, here is what methods they have used, data extraction, term list generation, curation, analysis, etc. And further is all the figures and tables you can find it at the end. And uh, you can see here is assessing statistical significance by means of bootstrapping. Now you can see bootstrapping is a non-parametric procedure that assesses our parameters variability by examining the estimates distribution by means of resampling from the available sample data instead of using parametric assumptions to assess the parameters procedure. I hope uh, all the uh, parametric tests and uh, non-parametric tests I had already shared in my previous videos. And the most important question is here, what kind of bootstrap confidence interval method should be used? Because most of the time we people are feeling confused and we just want to ask this particular question. We just want to answer this query. So you would find answer of this particular question. I mean, this method uses the bootstrap estimates to identify the 2.5% and 97.5% percentile. In what case? In the case of 5% significance level. Then we come to the Professor Hayes. And uh, this one is the citation of Professor Hayes. And uh, we will we, we are talking about another uh, query that is what is the sample size per bootstrap sub sample here is how many bootstrap sa sub samples should be used that's the a very important question and uh, after that we can come to the which significance level should be chosen and how should the effect size be interpreted how we can interpret this effect size and uh, further when we will go down and uh, we can find out one more question answer that is the higher order construct. You understand higher order construct that is also known as hierarchical component model in the PLS term. And uh, further we have to and with example that is explained very well with the example of the engagement with luxury brands. 
And further, we can move to the when to use higher order construct. What are the conditions when we are going to use higher order constructs? And further, we have to move to the how to specify higher order cons higher order models. And uh, then we have to go down how to estimate higher order models. That's the most important thing. Most of the time, we people are asking how we have to estimate higher order models. And uh, further is, you can see here, how to assess higher order models, how we can assess higher order models. And uh, then further is, you can see, moderation. That was the last aspect moderation so plsm applications often based on assumption that the analyzed data stem from a single homogeneous population and uh, this one is uh, further is should the model be analyzed with or without the moderator being included that's important and uh, further we have to move to how should the interaction term be generated in this plsm how should binary moderators be handled? Binary moderators, I'm sure you understand where is the dummy coded like 0 and 1, male and female. Where is we are giving coding is 0 and 1. Yes or no, 0 and 1. Response, no response, true, false. All these things, whether are you married or uh, unmarried. So this is the, we can give these kind of dummy variables. We can create 0 and 1. In that way, all the answers you can find it here. And how should a three-way interaction analysis be conducted? So interaction term, how we can handle it. I will show you in my EVS videos also, what is the interaction term and how we can handle it. So uh, in that way, because uh, this paper is very well explained, all such kind of uh, questions. And finally is discussion and conclusion. And uh, you can you can just go through this paper. I'm sure this paper would be very helpful for your uh, queries. And uh, you can satisfy your queries. So I hope uh, this video would be helpful to you. Thank you and keep watching.